Hi there, we are the Nerd Couple. I am husband, this is wife. Hello. And if you join us for the first time, we buy, sell, collect, retro, nerdy, gamey bits, etc. Game haul time. Whoa. I know on the last one we sort of was like, last game 50% off uh, thingy haul video, but technically that's true because these aren't the same as that. No. Uh, we went into a game where we found a load of loose discs on the counter. This was one of those sports, is it Sports Direct? Yeah. Uh, ones where a load of crap. You went up, you were buying this, yep. and then they had a load of loose discs on the counter. And I was like, how much are they? I don't know. I think. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Basically, it turned out the second-hand ones were a pound, and the new ones were half, half price. price. Yeah. I'm like, how are any of them new? They're all loose discs. Uh, after a long faff and a conversation, we worked that out. We didn't even technically end up paying. Because the man, or paying there and then, should I say, mm -hmm. because the man couldn't work out how to do it. But basically, he also told us about a, a game near us that was closing. So, a week later, we went to that game, which is where we got these. Yeah. These were all, for, everything was 20, yeah, everything in store was 20% off. And these were all 4 99 as, where is it? Non-pristine. Non-pristine. Yeah. And not only were they four ninety nine, they were twenty percent off as well. So these were three ninety nine. Um, so yeah, we did all right in two separate yeah. games quite quickly. I also got another one of these from that one as well. Yes, you got we got two of those. Yeah. This didn't come from game, but it was it's game related. So yeah. I thought I'd put it in the video. We'll do the loose discs first, as we got those first. They, they for a pound. I got. I thought this was Resident Evil Four because I'm an idiot and can't read, but it was covered up. And I just didn't see the tiny... I saw the word Resi Evil Remake, and I just thought this looked like Resi 4. Uh, so I was a bit annoyed when I finished, but this was a quid, obviously. Hello, neighbor. Spelled incorrectly. Jumanji, the video game. Wait. Not to be confused with the other Jumanji, the game, that looks exactly the same, but isn't this, for the PS5. I think this is the first PS5 game I've ever owned. <laughs> Monster Hunter World, which was probably not as great a value. And this was a new one. Uh, the Banner Saga Trilogy for... Was like, this was two pounds, so half price was still a pound. Yeah. And the guy was like... So I went, so that one's a pound still. And he was like, yeah. And then we oh. went to pay and he was like, I'll do that one as a pound. And I was like, it is a pound. Half of two is one. Good <laughs> Lord. Um, and yeah, as I started to say, we, didn't end, we ended up paying... We gave him the cash because luckily I had a fiver. Mm. And he basically... We let we gave I gave him a fiver and he was like yeah I'll have to put it through later because he didn't know the code to pay for them. This is why you don't have stores in Sports Direct. No. <laughs> uh, yeah, this yeah. this is only like it, it. This seems to be it might be the bonus edition, but it's, from what I can tell, it's exactly the same as the normal edition. There isn't a normal one, mm. but you get like a poster and stuff. Just for a pound, so bad. Cheapest one on eBay was like six eight quid or something i can't remember but most apart from monster hunter which you might play that's just because i wanted it even though we played it and didn't like it these three were basically all i'm hoping my local cex will take them as they take loose discs when they're a certain price and all yeah. of these are a tenner so i'm hoping they'll take them if they don't they're a pound and i can probably easily sell them with loose discs on ebay then from the better game or well, the best game the bigger game mm. I was quite pleased with this. I kept, kept looking at it all the time and wondering what the hell this is. I assumed it was some kiddie thing. Cause it, like, like yeah. what's the word? Five, five Nights of Crappy. Yeah. You know, that sort of thing. But it's genuinely quite good. Yeah. It's, it is a 12, again, which is why I thought maybe it was a kid's thing. It's, not, it's basically some, like, indie horror game. And I've started playing it the last couple of nights. It's... I don't get scared by games. I just, I just don't. Yeah, it's, but it's genuinely it's creepy. Quite, yeah, it is quite creepy. It, if I actually got made... Again, I don't get made jump by things. Not to sound like a pillock, but I don't. It, it Genuinely, a couple of times, I've gone, ooh! <laughs> <laughs> With, like, the, 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 bend, the bendy thing will just be like, you're walking along the corridor, and he's like, hello! It's... I don't... The game isn't great. Like, it's very wander around until you yeah. find the one thing you need to get to the next level. But... It yeah. genuinely is quite creepy. If you like horror games, I would genuinely, honestly recommend this. It's certainly better than the Five Nights at Bloody Freddy. The Deep. I can't remember what it's called now. The oh. something of the Deep or oh. whatever it is that's on the pass where we played it for. Where Scottish people. I'm obviously English, and it's Scottish people talking very thick Scottish accents. We I would love to hear an American try and understand that. Yeah, we don't even know what you're bloody saying. 
It just reminded me of Dog Soldiers, which is my favourite ever film. So for that respect, I quite liked it. <laughs> but nothing happened for the first yeah. hour. Anyway, this was very good value yeah. for four quid. In the it is the gold edition, as you can see, it was new, so it has the season part. I'm not going to show you the code because we haven't actually claimed it yet, but it's. I can't see that going. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'm very pleased with this. The, I mean, I've played Far Cry Six. I've played every Far Cry and the. But so we went up to the guy and was like, "Will this have this? Should have the things?" And he's like, "It should do." <laughs> <laughs> so like, yeah, but. It's more for me because I'm like really into Far Cry right now. <laughs> Slightly, but shouldn't have bothered with this. Mm. I I like tennis. I like tennis. I like playing tennis games. Uh, turns out, a I've played this, and b I I could make a pound selling it as EEX, not, but I've already played it, yeah. so it's a bit annoying. Oh well. Rims Racing. I know I played this, but it was on a free play weekend, and so I didn't play it properly. I played it for a bit. My controller is crap at the moment, and I can't play it very well. Yeah. And it isn't actually very good anyway, for someone who likes bike games. And it has gone down in price since buying it, so woo. But I'll, I'll just to say, also on the other hand, Bendy has gone up twice mm. since buying it. And Story of Seasons, Friends of Mineral Town. This is just because I love Half Spoon. I like that they say, these prices are not right. No. They were all part of this non-pristine thing. Mm. Um, so four pounds, technically. Yeah. This has, have we even opened, oh, we must have opened it, yeah. but yeah. Basically, like... They weren't, none of them were really bought to sell, but Bendy, for £4, CEX now sell for 12 Yeah. So when I'm done with it, it will be going to CEX, because I can get eight quid for it. <laughs> Far Cry has gone up as well. I think yeah. that was, you could get four, and you now get five. Um, Rims has gone down, and Max Point, like I said, you get five or four. Yeah. But I would say go down to game, proper games, as they might be closing, but I know from talking to the person that this game will now have already closed. Because like I said, we bought these about two weeks ago, and he said the early August, and it's now the 9th. Yeah. I don't know what his definition of early August <laughs> is, but do you want to show your ponies? Yeah. The reason you you ponies. got you the reason we found them was because you wanted a pony. Yeah. And so, from so from one game yeah, you got the a pony. First game that we went to, I got a little tiny gusty. Isn't she beautiful? Isn't that she is my favourite pony? Isn't of all she very time. glary? Yeah. She's my absolute favourite pony. In the second one we got, I got that one. Greeny. What, what is her name? Turquoisey. Starflowers. That's a really crap name. But we got that one. A starflower? I'm not going to say it. <laughs> that one I literally only got because I could actually... Someone had clearly, like, pried open <laughs> yeah, the bottom. That wasn't you. No, so I had a look. Allegedly. And it was her, so I bought it. Just to say I got some B&M. Yeah. Nothing to do with game or whatever, but I didn't know where else to put this in the video and I thought it was really cool. Yeah. <laughs> it's these these things. I don't want the things. I certainly don't want an Amy or a Shadow. Yeah. But I've got the um got the, the fish bird. one and the ladybird. Which Yeah. I got from BM ages ago, one of them ages ago, and then randomly they just had this. Mm. They haven't had any for ages and then just randomly there was this one. I was like, Ooh. They're all really cool. Yeah, but they don't seem to have them in I've looked in every B and M around here, and they don't seem to have them. No. Anyway, possibly worth checking out your local game again, but yeah, not it... for the not for the pre-owned things. As no. it might all be over now. The pre-owned thing is definitely over. So apparently, they all went to ninety percent off, and basically that was in one shop, and someone went in and bought the lot from what yeah. I read. But yeah, yeah, like and subscribe and all that malarkey. Yep. Au revoir, people. Goodbye.